she's back. <laughs> the beauty hags are in the house. Much requested, I must say. And this is her idea of a video, which is <laughs> beauty classics. And then I, then she said, I don't use. <laughs> I went around my house and I couldn't find any. This is the thing. Sorry, I've got a cough sweet in because I've got this really annoying dry tickly cough. It is annoying. Really, it is so <laughs> annoying. Um, I didn't have any trouble picking up beauty classics that I still use, but you obviously did. Well, I did pick up some and you said they weren't classic enough. <laughs> well, I feel like they've got to be around a long time to be but classic. But define long time. Okay. <laughs> and it's only a miniature. I shall start with Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which is the first ever serum. And I think it's like 30 years old. Is it that old? It might not be 30 years old, but I remember it being launched as a beauty editor, so maybe 25 years old. And I remember it was the first ever serum, and it's, I don't know if you've ever used it or smelt it, and it smells really medicinal and herbal. Yeah, I mean, that smells good. I love that smell. Yeah, it's the so smell it's almost like a skincare. fragrance of perfume. You just know it's that. Good. It's really lovely. Anyway, um, it's the first ever serum that was ever, ever, ever launched, and every beauty editor and expert has been using it forever, mm. and it deserves a place in the Beauty Hall of Fame stroke. It's also got its own acronym, isn't it? Isn't it just A and R? A and R, Advanced Night Repair. Now here's the thing about it. It's it does smell good. It's loaded with um, a hyaluronic acid salt. So it's one of the first ever hyaluronic acid serums. Um, but what's interesting about it is I don't, I only buy into the fact that it's got some antioxidants and hyaluronic acid and I don't buy in the chronological time all the way it's been supposedly working on your DNA. I don't buy into any of that. It's just a really good basic serum. And I like it. Yeah, that definitely stands it's the test of time. been around forever. Yeah, it has. We and if that. I ever need a really nice hyaluronic acid serum that's just calming and soothing on the skin, I'll... But would you put on hyaluronic acid at night? Yeah, of course, morning and night. Okay, because I only put it on in the morning because I thought it was just like surface stuff. So why do I want surface well, hydration in the evening? I tell you why, because um, nowadays we talk about different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. This is not hyaluronic acid, it's a salt, salt of hyaluronic yeah, okay. acid. Um, but it's just really hydrating. I just really like it. So it's a lovely base oh, for makeup. Do, well, do you know what I've started doing? What my latest fad is? <laughs> what are you going to admit? <laughs> um, that I drink... Um, so there's this Japanese um, like thing <laughs> that we, like Japanese women do, and apparently it's amazing. Um, where you, when you wake up, you have to drink four big glasses of water before you do anything else. So before you brush your teeth, before you um, eat anything, um, before you do anything, you just drink. And it's quite hard. You have to sort of work your way up to it because obviously it's a lot of. Usually in the morning, I'd wake up and have a coffee. So. I've sort of tried to steer myself off that and have four. You know you can't hydrate your skin by drinking water. No, I know, but this is more from like, just to sort of, because at night you just lose so much water and moisture from your body that this is just the way of putting it all back in again. But all you're doing is flushing out your kidneys. Yeah, well obviously, because I didn't quit drinking, did I? <laughs> and I haven't exercised. <laughs> oh my God, I know. I haven't exercised a single time. Well, I, 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 I How did long did you go without food? Three days. <laughs> so the gin didn't work, the fake gin didn't work? Oh my god, the fake gin's disgusting. It only tastes good with gin in it. But no, it actually is quite sort of like florally, like hopsy. I didn't really like it in the end. Um, and it just made compounded my misery of not having gin. Um, Should we go back to some beauty class? Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so yours you is choose. A and R. Um, I'm going to choose Batiste. Yay! Dry shampoo, which is still as cheap as chips. Um, this which, is the original formula, which is the only one that I buy. I don't buy any of the kind of ones that glitter or like ch that smell of cherries and whatnot. This is my problem, and I've said this with Ruth because Ruth has her own dry skin, oh, dry, dry range, dry skin range, dry shampoo range. I don't understand why they can't make it unscented. I prefer. I think some people like scent, which is fine, and some people like hair scent. Hair fragrance is a thing that makes me feel a bit like. I mean, there are up. two products. <laughs> There are, two, there are two hair products that I like the smell of, Josh Wood and Sam McKnight, and that's about it. But only because they're white, floral, Ooh, really about, expensive fragrances. What about the John Frieda um, Beach Waves? No, I don't. Oh, I love that. I don't want to smell of coconuts. I don't want oh, my, see, I love I essentially coconut. don't want my hair to smell at all, just like I don't want my skin to smell at all. Mm. And my problem is, that's pretty much unscented. Yeah. But I just don't... 
that the reason I don't like dry shampoo is because I just yeah I don't like the smell. Well, also it makes your hair quite matte. Yeah, you don't like you, that. You I like, like smooth hair. No, I don't like smooth. And you like we're yin and yang when it comes. Well, to I hair. mean, I did get caught in the rain this morning, but it is quite. That will make. If I had a blow dry and it was all slippery and slidey like yours, I'd put that in over the top. Yeah, I know you would. And also, it's cheap. It does the job. I mean, you have to be really careful. Like, don't fiddle Do you think with it your needs hair. A, residue, needs a massive. Residue. Yeah. So, because that Sam always says, and Ruth says with Colab, and I don't use dry shampoo, so I don't know that they're the only ones that don't you don't leave a oh, residue. Yeah, yeah. Sam's doesn't at all. And I think I've tried Ruth's, and I think it's great. I think I really did have quite a good. But this is very powdery. It's like it's it's, it's almost like old school. Yeah, and it's like what people used to put powder in their hair, didn't they, to sort of soak up the oil. Well, the thing is, this was originally for not when you don't wash your hair, and now I think people use it for styling and body rather yeah. than for mopping up. Yeah, hair. it's good for texture. It's like you said, even if your hair was clean and you yeah. blow dried it, you still put that. Enough, but it's... also it's really good if you're blonde because it um can hide roots it just takes a little bit of the darkness out of roots so you can sort of disguise it a bit talking of which we're going to video a whole host of videos today and one of them is going to be our hair hacks our lazy girl hair hacks <laughs> even we though don't, well, my you... hair is super high maintenance i'm <laughs> not lazy with my hair at all <laughs> Did you, is that what you said? Is that what you described? She comes up with the names of all these. So this no. is supposed to be... Cheap PR tactics. This is, supposed, <laughs> this is supposed to be beauty, iconic beauty classic buys yeah. that she never uses. Why and then do you, you came these? up with what? knackered face. Knackered face, and yeah. Well, I definitely hair. have one of those. I fucking do. Sorry. Uh, right, okay, so we've got uh, Advanced Night Repair. Batiste. Batiste. I'm going to choose another one, uh, which isn't that much of a classic in the UK, but it's classic because it's been around for ages in the in the States, and that's CeraVe Moisturising Lotion, which hasn't changed for absolutely ever. And people always say to me, can you recommend a bog standard, really good moisture lotion, face, body, whatever. It comes in a tub as well. Same active ingredients, just in a thicker form. Developed by dermatologists. Just if your children... If you've got this dry, is what, okay, this is what I was going to say. If you've got dry shins... If you've got dry elbows, if you're on a flight, if you're on a budget, you can use it on your face, you can use it all over. It's just a great product. Can I ask, like, because by my 11 year old, uh, no, <laughs> she's nine. <laughs> she, um, she needs to start, she's getting these little like milia yeah. up here. Because mm -hmm. her hormones have kicked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but could, do I, does she need to be using can't give her this. That's exactly what you need to give her. No. No, of course you do. Really? No, of course. I just gave her a flannel. <laughs> well, and so also like what she's washing her face with. Well, I've given her some like... Um... She needs CeraVe hydrating gel. Well, that's what I was going to ask if this would Which be I quite think nice I, for I, her. No, that's a moisturiser. No, but I mean this brand. Not CeraVe that, hydrating gel cleanser. I'll give you some before you leave. A big bottle of it. And then start putting that on it. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You've got to realise that girls today just mature much faster. Oh, than 100%. Do. Like we she probably will start her periods in the next year or so. No. Sorry. Is... Sorry to discuss you. I hope you're not watching this amongst all the followers. But yeah, it's true. Yeah, no, it is true. We've had that conversation. with this People say to me the whole time, I don't know what to do. My nine-year-old, 10-year-old, 11-year-old is starting to break out. And I go, you do two things. You get them to start cleansing their face properly with mm. CeraVe hydrating gel lotion, moist, uh, moisturising gel cleanser and then I always say the and the reason I mentioned which is your next classic the reason I mentioned the gel rather than the lotion is because you can dab the gel on yeah, specific, you can be specific so yeah. there you go there's your next one. Ah, okay well I, this is from my house yeah no it's no. not that's mine uh, don't oh, take it away because it's the only one I've got okay well at least it got classic approval from back <laughs> well so I ironically the lotion which is the Paula's Choice PHA lotion 2% is a classic because it's the one that everybody loves. I don't like the lotion, which no. is why I've picked the gel. I much prefer the gel. I think there's also a cream. There's with three. There's a lotion, a liquid, and a gel, and it's the liquid, which is it. It's a, got a weird sort of, almost slightly oily feel to it that I don't like. Solvent feel to it. Then there's a lotion which I do like, which is milky, and then there's this one. And the reason I like this one is because you can dab it on specific spots. Yeah. Also, why it do just... you like it? I like it because of, this is the gel. This is because I've I'm quite hormonal skin, yeah. and I just prefer gel textures. And I feel that anything that's kind of creamy is just going to make 
things were. Yeah, it just feels like an anathema to me to put yeah. something on that was creamy. I do think the lotion would suit you. It does, but I don't like, this is more convenient. Yeah. You don't need to get a pad, uh, cotton pads and all that kind of stuff. You just put it on clean hands and then put it where it's needed. And it works brilliantly on body breakouts There is as well. nothing. Right, I was, I was looking at this girl. Having grown hair. Oh, I was looking at this girl on the train yesterday and I just felt she just had she was really young and she just had this like huge her face was clear but she just had huge sort of acne on her neck and you know when you just really want to just say please I've got the right thing but you obviously you can't and I didn't um and she was I actually probably would oh uh, well she was actually most of her face was attached to her boyfriend so I didn't oh. see I didn't really see much of her face um, but it looked very clear. But this, you just, this is the kind of product that you sort of evangelise yeah. about, isn't it? It's like anything. Like you've got, you know, you feel like your skin is the texture's bad. You're clogged up with spots, black heads. Black heads. You feel like you're getting old and tired. Like your skin's getting a bit old and tired. Pull, 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 pull. Like this is the. Do you use BHA for? Because I don't use BHA for resurfacing. I only use BHA for, no, I use for spots and breakouts. No. I would use a glycolic or a. I'd use a lactic acid for tired, dull skin. Well, I think it must have a sort of appealing effect. It has appealing. It effect, does really so gentle. Gonna, yeah, I think it's a gentle exfoliant, and I wouldn't necessarily. I have started using the one percent. So you can use that on ivy. Violet. Violet. Sorry. <laughs> How old, <laughs> how old are they now? Nine and... Nine and um, Ivy was just seven, yeah. Oh. I know, Violet's getting... So you can use it on Violet, you can use it on Violet. So I that's what, well, we've already started her with a little skincare regime. So in the morning she has a little Glossier headband that she puts on. And then she'll use micellar water in the morning, just like these little pads. And then... Tell me she rinses that off after. Yeah, 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 because yeah. otherwise it goes bobbly, doesn't it? Um, so she... Well, it's just, it's a detergent, and you wouldn't leave detergent on your skin. No, so if she does that, then she washes it, because she has a shower what? at night. Oh, she washes it off with water, and then she puts on a Your Good Skin moisturiser. Okay, so... Just a really simple No moisturiser, no micellar water, she needs a rinse off gel cleanser, and BHA. But what percent of BHA? Like only about it's two percent. Oh, okay, and that won't be too you bad. You can't for... get, you can't okay. get above that in the UK. It's okay. not licensed. And no moisturiser at all? America. No, why, you know, I know, I know. I mean, their skin is like, so. oh, their skin. I could look at it so for days. Beautiful. Oh, it's just like. Has she got a fringe? No. Dan wouldn't let us keep them. Okay. <laughs> so it's really funny. He took them all for haircut. They all went for haircuts before Christmas. They all came back with these little chic French bobs. I was like, no, don't like it. They just look too old. They look too grown up. I'm just wondering why it's just their forehead. It's oh no, she's it's not. Just she's the getting hormones. It's and just she's getting it here as well. Yeah. yeah. So no moisturiser. And she's getting little like boobies. Oh, I don't know. listen. Don't listen. Your mum's not talking about you going through puberty in front of thousands of people. She's really not. <laughs> um, my next classic would be uh, Skin Cuticle C Frulic. Mm -hmm. And you know we were just talking about the feeling of Paula's Choice. Uh, Li lo liquid mm. not the lotion the liquid this has the same feeling and what it is is it's a solvent and when you put it between your fingers it feels oily but then it turns squeaky and you just have to get over that because this is just brilliant it's just iconic and amazing and i love it and i use it every day do you use it and every it's day? really high level of vitamin c with tempered with frulic which is an antioxidant and it targets pigmentation and i put hyaluronic acid on first and then this on every day and the only thing i dislike about it is that weird feeling that you get between your fingers afterwards. What weird feeling? Look, have you never used it? No, I don't think I have, because it's quite... Um, right, do that. Cheap. Do that, right? And it just feels like water. Yeah. It's a bit oily sort of water. Then that what? smell. Bacon. See, Ferulic, the smell of bacon. Why it's does it smell like bacon? Active vitamin C. And then after a while, when it dries and goes in, you'll end up with this weird squeaky feeling between your fingers, which personally I don't like, which is why I always put a milky serum over the top. There you go. It starts to go, wait, it starts to go on your fingers. And you start to get a drag on your finger. And that is the solvent drying away from your fingers. And you get that squeak. And that's what, what that's, that's what I don't like about that. No, it's just like a sort of, solvent is just what you dis a Vitamin C is reactive in water so they can't put it in water so they need to make it feel watery they need to put it into solvent and it's the same with bha as well and they look that mm. can you hear that yeah it's, it sounds like plastic you have to wash your hands afterwards when you're unless quiet. you don't mind it unless you don't like mind it <laughs> but it's worth it it's an iconic product much copied never matched drunk elephant never matched that's great it's really good go on do you want to do that one? And then oh, yeah. This says a lot about us. Okay, so this is 
Um, and I, I never know. used to wear red lipstick ever. But because you, you know why we've had this conversation before you've got the world's most beautiful lips people pay thousands of pounds to have your lips and the only reason you didn't like your lips growing up is because they weren't fashionable now you've got the height of fashionable lips i know but even the dent in the bottom do you know that when people have their filler done they put a piece of um um elastic no uh dental tape in and they pull it down through the, and then they're filled either side of it oh that's get just, that that, dent. But that's it what dent that line down your lip. That's dehydration. It's not, it's not dehydration, it's the shape of your lips. It's the Angelina Jolie dent down your lip. It is, like, I'm fine with them now, but I didn't, like, when... But that's or, why you didn't wear But this lipstick. is why my lips are always dry, because I always put found I wipe my lips off. When I was about 13, lips Mac bought out a collaboration. It was one of the first collaborations that Mac did, or that I remember them doing, with D Squared. Yeah. You know, like when D Squared was super cool, and they had well, they're still cool, but I don't really. I'm not, so I don't have much engagement with them there. Um, they had this. Um, they had something called a lip eraser, mm -hmm. and it was like a small pot, and you put your finger in, and it basically just made your lips disappear. And I loved it, like because that to me was the dream. I used to stand. I used to like hold them in. I mean, I obviously, I like them now. Thank heavens for Kylie Jenner and Angelina Jolie and all those Who women that made like, beautiful big I think it was lips. Liz Hurley. Yeah, the first when I, Yeah, you know when it's like, when they have... But someone asked me, like, someone offered to put... Some... There's a rumour that Liz Hurley has had that operation on the top of her lip. Oh, what, when you have Where they take a slither of skin out and then they pull it back? Or, oh, no, no, no. I don't know if it's true. I've seen her up close. I can see no scar. Well, anyway, so. so my this is this is the first red lipstick that I discovered. Let's do a whole video about lips. Oh yeah, okay. You should. You don't get yours done though, do you? I've got filler in my lips. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Where? Uh, well, to be honest, it's a year and a half old now, so there might not be a lot left. I didn't have it put into my lips. I had it put into the vermilion border. I've done a video about it. But we should do a video about lips. I'd love lips like yours. What would I? I would pay good money to have lips like yours. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I think that the best. I mean, I can't. I didn't know that you had your lips done, but I think the best. Thanks for watching me content. Well, I watch loads of it. I ain't watching all of it. She only watches. Oh, no. she, she only watches what she appears in. No, I watched the one on the L'Oreal hydration. What's it? Got totally They're involved so in that. They're I know. So good. But that I Those watched. Hyaluronic acid. Cashew. That's the one that I watched most recently. And you no, watched the Flower one. Beauty one. Yeah, yeah obviously, because well. we did that one together. But I she wouldn't. Was in the back of it. <laughs> I know, it was, uh, she's lovely, isn't she? Oh, she's so lovely. Go on. Anyway, so this was the first red that I discovered, and I think it's a universal red. I love it. I so don't think colour. there is any woman that doesn't look absolutely bloody cracking in Lady Danger. So I when know. we do our lip video, I'll put it on and we'll see. We'll prove that. Uh, do you ever... Re what? Do you ever... Um, yeah, but the thing is, right? That is a gorgeous red. It is a gorgeous red. But do you know what the thing is? I think... It's a clear orangey red. It doesn't look... I like it. Put it on now. Um, I've got quite a lot of eye makeup on, so it might look a bit like much. Slaggy. Well, if the cap fits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good God. You've got Sorry, to put it on the times 10. <laughs> and while she's putting on that, which is MAC Lady Danger, here is my iconic lipstick. Velvet Teddy by MAC, which is the iconic nude. See, I'd never heard of that one before. Oh, that colour really suits you. Orangey orangey reds really suit you more than blue reds make me look a bit yeah cheap that is so nice uh. <laughs> such a gorgeous color it's a really good color but what i would i wouldn't usually wear do you know that nick and sam chapman have just announced that they're doing yes that? Yeah. i do and i, I bet I, you hear it here first i have no idea i have no idea what they're doing but they will do a berry blue base red and a nude and you will love the berry blue base red and i will love the nude Whatever they do, they'll be amazing. We love them, but they will do a nude and a berry. I'm Nick sure. did a really good post yesterday about it, just about how. Did you see all of Sam's archive pictures of when she was on counter? No. Back they did. In the 90s, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm, I don't think I've put that on very well. I think you've been put on really well. God, it's so bright, isn't it? There's also another one called So Showed by Mac. What's the classic red, though, that everybody talks about? Oh, Ruby Roo. Ruby Roo. I don't, but that's a blue base red. Yeah, that doesn't suit me at all. Not at all. It just is too blue and it makes me look cheap. Uh, 
That actually is really nice. Love a nude. But, but it's a bit trendy. super modelish, isn't it? That's that 90s super model. But that's when it was created. So oh, it's okay. Bobby Brown, Kevin O'Quan inspired, Matt Brown Cindy based. Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. Yeah. My era. Christy Turley. My era. Oh my goodness. Ooh, let's put that away. Okay. All right. Um, let's do. Uh, so, talking of classic skincare products we grew up with, who remembers uh, Clinique DDML? Another one. Yeah, I know. DDML, dramatically different moisturising lotion. Again, glycerin and water. That's all it is. Nothing special. Then they did DDML Plus, which has hyaluronic acid in, and now they have a whole different range. If you are ever, I always, this is how we describe the classic. If you are stuck abroad and your luggage doesn't arrive, what would you go to the drugstore and buy? I would buy CeraVe. A&R. A&R. BBC. DDT. DDML. <laughs> They're my absolute classics, and it's just a really nice milky lotion stroke serum moisturizer. I just think it's an absolute classic. I just remember this and have it. This was like the first proper, three step. Yeah, three step. It's the first proper one I ever had. So oh, three step the smell was, of this. Though. Three step was a, it's unscented. It don't know, but it has some kind of. Uh, it still has a, yeah. some sort of smell. So three step was the classic solid cleansing bar. Yeah, that's the right. lotion, Clarifying which was lotion. salicylic acid. Um, and that, that and they were again created by dermatologists. But that was the first regime, wasn't it? That yeah. was the first sort of like three step. I think it's that was what I aspired to, you yeah. know, when I was like growing up and as a teenager, you just all you <coughs> want to do is the one, two, three. You want to be old enough to go on counter and get the one, two, three. But I always thought that by the time I'd used the soap, then the clarifying lotion, your skin was like, give me some moisture. Yeah. No, that's I'm the problem. Dying. That's the problem. The problem with all of the clarifying lotions is they've all got alcohol in, apart from the one daily, which is the one that's alcohol free, which is the only one I recommend. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is. This is lovely. Have they got a body lotion of this as well? No. Actually, that's a really good idea. I don't know why they don't do a DDML. DD, so they've done DDML gels, DDML lotions, DDML creams, DDML plus. But yeah, they should do DDM. I body. also feel like this is the first time that a very good name, like a marketing name, has made people buy a product. I just think people forget it's just a really good oil in water hydrating lotion that's unscented and suits all skins. It's not loaded with actives, but it's just Yeah, but you don't you can get all the actives from your serum. You don't yeah. need them from your moisturizer. Exactly. Do. Um what have I got? Oh, and then we had an argument, if you landed and you didn't have your makeup bag, what would be your absolute go-to bog standard stroke iconic mascara? And you said? Oh, 100% always, Max Factor 2000 calorie. I have never, this, this, I've been using this since I was, probably first started using um, what did you, oh, that makes me feel old. What because I went going to the launch of that. What did you what did you say about why you stopped using it then? Because I went through a phase of not wanting to look like because at that time when I used to buy it, I only could afford to buy one uh, mascara. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying. I didn't have several or whatever, yeah. and I didn't have one to choose them. I could have one mascara, and I had to buy it, obviously, like everyone else. And um, I bought this, and but it, I just not I didn't always want to have that nighttime Full eye look. Rash. Yeah, and I think when you're sort of 17, 18 and your skin's looking good or you know fine and you kind of don't really need all the makeup. I just didn't always but this was all that I had because I could only afford to buy one. And it was it's not buildable. You can build on it, but you can take it from extramatic to like but you can't you have to start with dramatic. Is well, it called dramatically different? <laughs> well, I mean, what is dramatic? Look, dramatic volume. Well, what is interesting about again the still. difference between her and I is, I like that, but I don't think it's as good as Masterpiece Max. But what's better about that one? Because I always want triple lashes. Yeah. That's the difference between you and I. Because you've got such a gorgeous mouth and you wear quite a lot of dark lipsticks, you don't necessarily want the focus on your eye. I always, I've got thinner lips neutral lipstick, always want the focus to be my eye, and that is still my absolute best high street buildable, totally over uh, the top. See, I don't like brushes that are that. You don't like rubber brushes? No, don't like them at all. Okay, so I like that. I no, prefer I like, like that. What's this, like a, a fibre brush? That's, this is a rubber flexible brush, yeah. and it was the, one of the first ones on the market, and that's a classic. Yeah, no, this is. Fur tree brush. Yeah, no, love that. Love it. 
It used to take me days to get it off after I'd been out for a night. <laughs> you just needed a Primark microfiber cloth. <laughs> they, ladies and gentlemen, are our beauty classics. All of which I still use. Oh no, I still use one, two, three. And actually, do you know what? No, I might, I might go back to this yeah, now. Take it and you'll oh, fall in love with it. I know, it I know. Again. That's the thing about classics is you cannot use them for years and then when yeah. you start using them again, you go, God, Why I forgot did I how stop? good that was. I know, I know. That's the definition of a really good classic, iconic beauty Also, product. you just get completely, your head gets turned the whole time mm. by, oh, this one is amazing, this one is better, this one is, oh, look at this, look at this. And you're, every time you go into somewhere, like shopping, it, all the new stuff's always like thrust at you straight away because obviously that's what they want you to engage with and so you kind of forget like you get led I'm so like taken by things I'm like oh and then you forget these things and then when you, you're right I'll start using this again and be like why did I why stop? did I ever yeah. stop using it because I don't think I haven't found apart from my glossy mascara there's not but any then you see, I don't like I the Glossier Mascara because it doesn't give you anything. That's what you wanted when you were 17, yeah. you want natural lashes. Yeah, oh, that's what I want when I've got this lip on. Yeah. I don't want, if I, I wouldn't go out with this amount of my eye and lips on. It's too much. Not at night down the dilly. Down the what? What's the dilly? Pick a dilly. Down the dilly? That's what the prostitutes in the 30s and 40s used to call Is it? Dilly, yeah. Working the dilly. No. When I appeared on that... <coughs> dilly. The dilly. <laughs> and I appeared on the advertising screen yeah. a year ago. Everybody, the business went up, didn't everybody, everybody, was like, everybody was like, oh, finally back working the dilly. <laughs> on that note, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. There will be more beauty hags coming up over the coming weeks. You need to follow her at Joe L. Jones. What's the L for? Laura. It's oh. only because there's loads of Joe Jones. What do you mean, Laura? That's just a bit not very you, is it? I thought it'd be sort of, you know. What? Lorraine. Lorraine. <laughs> Linda. Uh, Linda. <laughs> Linda. Linda. <laughs> be something different. No. Just, mine's Susan. I mean, mine's hideous. You. Yeah, but you were going to be Beverly, weren't you? Oh, thank you very much, Mother. <gasps> Beverly Baggett. Could you imagine that? I was going to be Joan. Joan. That's why I got... But you still could have shortened that to Joe. Are you Joanna? Joanne. But I was going to be Joan. Joanne Laura Jones. Well, it wasn't then. It was Scotchner. Of course it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you're still in Scott in the in my phone this Scotch. Well, what, seven times because of the seven phones I've lost this year. It's true. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll put all the details down below, but you know where to find these because they're beauty icons. And we will be back with hair heroes because we need to talk about your hair journey. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Alright. Bye.